uh, 6.30 a.m. and I'm at St. Clair Pool for my morning swim before I go for my limb centre appointment. I don't know if you can see, the sun is not quite up, but the waves are rolling quite well. Nice speedy 2.8k. I was swimming for an hour and I got 300 meters more in in salt water than I did in a normal pool. I knew that salt water made you more buoyant, but that's quite a considerable advantage. Anyway, interesting fact about St. Clair salt water pool it is the last of several um, salt water op open air salt water pools that used to exist in Dunedin. It's the last one, and uh, there has been a salt water open air pool on this site dating back to the early 1800s. So there we are. Limb centre. Test socket fitting, stage one. Twiddling with the test socket. So we've already got a, a limb socket and we've had multiple adjustments. We've been at this for an hour now, but at least I know what exactly I'm looking for. But the disadvantage is the, the um, where I've got to before with regards to resistance. I have to go back a few steps onto crutches again to get the leg conditioned back to standing on a leg again. The process is put it on, where's the pressure points? Take it off, change it. Put it on, where's the pressure points? Take it off, change it. It's moldable plastic and it heats it up and changes the, the shape of it. The idea is by the end of tomorrow, we have the shape right, there is no pressure points, it's fitting properly and then he will make the real leg. And because this socket is slightly too big and I've already got a sock on, he'll make the actual socket slightly smaller. End of session number one, I've just swapped to the wheelchair because the cafe at this hospital is a long way away. I'm not crutching it to the other end of the hospital and across the road and all them things. Um, feeling pretty damned good about this morning session. It took a lot of adjustments, but um, I now know what I'm looking for and what I'm feeling for. I now know what to expect, which makes me a better feedback patient than the first time. He did say that the more limbs you get, the better you get at it, and the less the prosthetist knows about it and the more the customer knows about it. And that's actually what has happened. So we did a lot of adjusting. It took an hour and a half before we got it right, but just before I left, uh, I felt like I could stroll out of there without the crutches. It felt pretty damned amazing. Now, he is gonna try and reinforce the socket uh, so that I can take it and try it overnight. So, I hope that he can, because that would be really cool if that is possible. So, I've just been to the hotel coffee shop for lunch. Now, it's not like I go there a lot. I don't always go there when I'm here. Sometimes I go into the Meridian Mall in town, um, and when I got there, I'm wearing this t-shirt today and the girl behind the counter remembered me by my t-shirts and remembered my coffee order, which I thought was really cool. And then obviously it um, promoted a conversation about disability and blah, 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 and you know, mindset and stuff like that. And then on my way out of the coffee shop, coming back over here to the limb center, uh, across the foyer, I met my surgeon, uh, Sarah Leash, and the uh, vascular reg that did my surgery, uh, Rossi Holloway. And Rossi is leaving to go to Taranaki to be a general surgeon. So that's really sad, but um, I mean, I'm hoping I don't need her again. But uh, best wishes for your new job, Rossi, um, and enjoy Taranaki. It'll be warmer than here for sure. And so Sarah uh, called Rossi, didn't tell her why, told her she needed to see her immediately in the hotel, hospital for you. And she came down expecting to like some type of bleed or something. So she was really uh, pleased to see me and, you know, a hug and best, best of luck and stuff like that and uh, she loved seeing the uh, swimming video that I sent her right back at the start. So, best wishes for your new job, Rossi. Sorry to see you go, but I'm sure Taranaki will get an awesome surgeon. Afternoon session done. I'm exhausted and absolutely roasting. Now, um, physio came in this afternoon and did a whole lot of tests on me to see whether I could stand up, sit down, folded arms, um, 
walking in straight lines, balancing with my eyes closed, balancing on one leg. She asked me on both sides. Now I've never tried it on the left before because the leg socket became too big. So my, that's the only one I failed at. But all the rest I were dead easy. Um, sitting on the edge of a chair, sitting upright for 30 seconds. I was like, oh, it's a test in this and all those sorts of things. Uh, so we have a benchmark so that we can retest it and see the improvement. Um, so the thing that I couldn't do was balancing on my left leg on its own. Well, I've never tried it because the leg socket became too big right at the point where we were going to start trying that. So that failed. And so uh, then we did some walking practice. Now, I I am a video person. Uh, that's how I get my feedback is visual. And when I watched the video back that she did of me walking, I noticed I was hip hitching on the right hand side. To do the weight evenly on both sides without now, let's start back at the beginning. I'm able to walk without crutches. Woohoo! I have not done that for years, even when I had two feet. But what I'm doing is hip hitching on the right side. And I was puzzled as to why this was. So I asked her and she said it was a way of avoiding putting the weight through the left. So then we ha had to kick a Swiss ball repeatedly. And then she had me standing with my foot on a soccer ball. Uh, both sides so I had to stand on my left leg and put my right foot on a soccer ball and then we had to swap it around the other side to get used to putting the weight through it and that was the thing um, is putting putting all of my weight through it so that is how I'm going to be able to smoothen out the walk it's almost there but it's not quite and the hip hitch is because I'm not used to putting all the weight through it but I'm pretty damn stoked that I'm walking up and down the room without the crutches already. I knew this would happen um, when I came telling them that the leg was too big. We were just about at that point before. So I have got high, high, high hopes for this leg. She thinks in two to three weeks, I'll be able to wear it all day. I won't be to walk around all day, but I'll be able to wear it all day. Now, how freaking good will that be? So all in all, uh, the day was everything that I hoped it to be and more. And hopefully next week I'll be walking around again on two feet and maybe by the following week without crutches. You never know. Anyway, um, I have just had an email in that has just rounded my day off beautifully. Uh, now, you all know that I entered Challenge Wanaka the days before the surgery actually and cleared it with the surgeons that they thought it'd be all right um, and I'm a member a member of a team and I'm a swimmer now I was approaching Challenge Wanaka before this to find out whether they'd be able to accommodate a disabled athlete blah 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 anyway as it turns out a combination of Challenge Wanaka and Try and Z have given me some financial assistance um, in order to help me be able to enter this race with the team and were keen to publish my story. Now, my story has gone out to all of the Challenge Wanaka entrants via email today, and that is quite exciting. And uh, they haven't really changed much of what I wrote. I will transcribe it into a blog and I will put the link down here um, so that you can read it online yourself. But I really want to thank Try New Zealand and Challenge Wanaka for their support for all this. And if you do see me uh, out there um, on the course uh, on the weekend of Challenge Wanaka, do say hello um, and I'm more than happy to talk to you. You probably will recognise me after the email has gone out. And you'll know me if you've watched these videos anyway. So I'm feeling pretty proud and I can't wait to get that race underway. So that rounds off my day nicely. I have just got to catch up with a friend and find myself some tea. And then we do it all again tomorrow with the crack of the dawn, St. Clair swim, of course, unless it's thundering and lightning. And then we start the test socket um, tweaking one more time, hoping to have it done and sorted by the end of tomorrow so that they can then get started on making the leg. I have also got the old socket. I asked if I could keep it. I'm um, not going to keep them all, but I thought the very first one would be really interesting comparison to all the others size-wise 
because they'll just get smaller after this. So I will show you that in a future video because it's in the car at the moment and I had to carry it there in a rucksack. So have a lovely evening and I'll talk to you all really soon. Thank you.